Good morning and welcome to our channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Season Homestead and Bolo Outdoor Gun Range. I found something interesting um, early this morning. Um, our chickens are roosting on the bars. Um, at a, I'm at a distance, but when they heard me, who actually um, flew down off the bars, uh, there are some that's still there. We're gonna go take a look, and I'm actually stepping over the electric fence right now, <clears throat> just so I don't get a shock. So. Instead of turning it off, I'm lazy this morning, so I'm actually uh, stepping over it. So, if you look, um, we still have three hens that's on the top of the roosting bar. I'm going to try to move in. It's not letting me um, zoom. So I'm going to step up. When I step up to them, they'll probably fly off. This is how they sleep at night to protect themselves from predators. They um, fly up to the bars and they sleep here. Um, there was about there was about uh, ten on this bar or twelve on this bar, and then we had some on the other bars as well. A lot of the farmers and and the um, uh, the folks that have chickens, their main concern is the chickens roosting on the bars. And what we found is that they basically teach themselves. You know, you get one or two um, chickens that uh, will fly up uh, and roost on the bars, then they all will do it, you know? And our blue Americana was like the first one to fly up on the bars. Um, he's a blue Americana. And um, she, she's a blue Americana, I should say. Um, Cause she is a, hen which basically flies she lays about 200 eggs a year but she flew up and started roosting on the bars and now you have these other 10 pound birds with strong wings we did not clip their wings and i did it for a reason i rather have flying chickens you know rather than um some who are who had their um their wings clipped and they can't really do much when a predator um, does enter a cage or the yard or whatever. So we don't clip their wings. You know, we want them to be able to fly up and to fly around. And to also use all of their defense mechanisms. Okay, so we do have a rooster here that's inside, which was one of the, uh, the 10 last um, birds that we put in. So we have one rooster in, which uh, he has a good temperament so far, you know, and um, and here's one chicken actually um, had their neck inside feeding, and there's another one going in to feed, so we do have a, a big feeder. Which, uh, But I wanted to show uh, what they do early in the morning and how I was uh, fascinated over how these 10 pound birds can fly up and roost on the bars. None of the birds are injured from flying up and down. They're, um, oh, we have eggs in there too. We have eggs this morning. Every morning. And that rooster there, he sounds good. He's a young one too. And he'll come right up to the fence, okay, and um, they're happy. Um, all right, so that's what I wanted to show this morning. And here's our favorite, our mascot, our main man, Mountain. So what's going on, Mountain? Are you okay? It's a little dark. My camera looks a little fuzzy. I don't know if it's because of the fog or um, or the way it's recording. I don't know, but it's kind of dark out. So, um, 
I'm gonna leave it be. But we are happy. Oh, look at him. He is so. Look at him. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, Mountain. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Hey, Mountain. Hey. Mountain. Mountain. Hey, Mountain. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? You gonna give me some daddy? You want me to pet you? Huh? You want me to pet that mountain? Rah, rah, rah. You want me to pet that mountain? Come on. Good boy. You gonna learn how to hit those other ones? Huh? And there's the lamb. There's the lamb. <laughs> yep. So everything is good here. Um, the other two. Um, Sophie and Ophelia, uh, Stevie and Ophelia are hiding underneath the coop. They found the new shelter. It's dry under there, but we have a surprise for them. Um, we will be extending the fence line all the way in the back once I get my, uh, my John Deere tractor. Um, and we actually have a um, tree house which is in the woods. We actually, um, they were using it for a, um, a hunting um, tree house, you know, waiting on the deer and then shooting them. But we're actually gonna convert that into their home so that they can climb up. Um, they do like, goats like to climb and they don't mind climbing up um, high areas. So um, we're gonna get them to climb up and, and they'll have shelter there, okay? Um, the main thing is, uh, we wanted to, I wanted to come out here and check on the roof on the chickens because I was fascinated with the way that they were roosting. And here's one that's still roosting. And again, this is how they feel. They feel comfortable sleeping up here at night and protecting themselves from predators at night. Oh, look at that beautiful. That's a beautiful rooster. Look at him. Hey, you want to come up here and get a close up? Hi. I want lots of eggs from you. Do you want to, do you hear me? Give me lots of eggs, okay? We like your eggs. We like your eggs. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You go ahead and roost. Yes. You roost. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. And the chicken lady is up. Here's your chicken queen. The chicken queen is actually uh, up and uh, she's filling the food. Chicken queen, what do you want to say to your, your followers? <laughs> say good morning to your followers. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, she's busy with the feet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look, look what we have here. This is for the rooster. Okay. So um, that's what I wanted to show this morning. Um, again, if this, is, if this is your first time tuning in, please subscribe and like our videos. And we appreciate you. We appreciate you for watching. Thank you. Till the next time, God bless.